All right, good morning, everyone. This is Eric. I'm live in Paris. right now and I realize I'm so tired of filming myself so I'm gonna make a video but nothing literally nothing I just arrived in Paris yesterday this is the uh, San Luis Island I am currently staying on the city island it's bored okay this is really just uh, you know looking slowly to work I haven't done that in a while I used to do it every day and I forgot how pleasant it is in this whole time and you got a the supplies coming in Paris because hey, we're still building that city, right? You got the city hall right there with uh, this girl uh, running for uh, for mayor. Uh, it's kind of a joke. That's horrible. <laughs> uh, we shot something with my friend Benjamin here one night, modeling stuff, and you can see a little bit of the uh, medieval Paris. I guess let me show you this because it's really. Uh, you know, nothing. I'm, I'm starting a tour at the Louvre in like 20 minutes. I'm really, really late. Just want to show you that column. Uh, I'll try to explain a little bit later and comment that column. Let's take a look at it. Got the moon up there. It's really beautiful today. You got the Saint Jacques Tower. That's where I started my uh, ride to Compostela. You should do a little pilgrimage from, from time to time because pilgrimage is uh, the way to go. Uh, look at this little boat. I mean, the light this morning is just wild. You can't get in it, but I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to uh, get. get I'm supposed to get uh, on the on the banks right there, where people are going to work. A bicycle. Where people are just uh, going to enjoy a little uh, little run or something. And uh, got some hungry dudes smoking joints on their way to work. I'm really sad when people go to work in some sort of anger. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I love my job so much. I am actually excited to meet new people today, take them to the Louvre, be surrounded by people on holiday, smiling, be surrounded by masterpieces uh, in the world. Oh, I have the story. I'm, I'm reading a lot of Nietzsche lately, and uh, and I'm finishing my book on paintings. And Jakob Buchart, which was a friend of Nietzsche, which I didn't know, I just discovered that. So I'm very happy about that uh, discovery. So Buchart and Nietzsche, during the 1870 civil war in Paris, that we call La Commune, uh, heard that actually Les Communeux, that had been nicknamed by Thierry Les Communards, uh, put the Louvre on fire and they were so sad. They live in Berlin, Switzerland, they're not in Paris, right? They were so sad about that news that they decided, both of them, to go meet the other. Oh, that the Hotel Dieu, that's uh, one of the oldest hospitals in Paris and that's where I was born. They don't deliver babies anymore, so I'm kind of taking a pride in that. They're kind of uh, fighting for years to keep it as a hospital. You know, they're fighting to keep schools open. They're fighting to keep uh, libraries open. It's really tough for culture nowadays. Hey, but I keep my smile on, right? <laughs> you want to keep books and school and stuff like that? All right, stop believing the power in place and smash the state, right? No, we are still on the city island, and uh, that's a regular traffic here in Paris. I don't know why they blame that poor new mayor of Paris. For that traffic has always been kind of like that it's a bit worse than usual but i mean you know if you haven't been stuck in the traffic i guess like uh like the traffic in la or depending what kind of a uh, what kind of traffic you know this is like traffic is everywhere so i'm gonna run to get that light right now oh. all right Ooh, just a uh, glass of Chatelet. Uh, that's where they have the guillotine back in the good old days. Oh, my friend Alex is coming tonight. Alex Cunha is a model from Brazil. We were supposed to meet yesterday, but uh, 
wanted to spend the evening with Nietzsche <laughs> reading. Uh, and uh, he's coming from Trudeau tonight, so very happy. I'm going to meet him. This, this video is really of no interest whatsoever. This is a bird's market. It's a pretty cool market. If you take an apartment in Paris, take a bird. And if you want to have a bird in your apartment, just go over the river and look at birds right there. Really got to run. People arriving in 15 minutes. I'm not even close to the Louvre. <laughs> but I think I'm going to make it. I'll run if I need to. Uh, the Palace of uh, So-Called Justice. Uh, there's no more justice in that country. Just in case you were wondering. Uh, police is closing everything again for some reason. I guess there must be some protest. And you can't really protest. So that's French democracy. You're looking at it right now. Ooh, great country. <laughs> Something has been really crazy with the police lately. Getting crazier than usual. Uh, well, we'll see where the whole thing goes, right? What I know is that I can't walk to my work because they're literally close the bridge. Uh, I have to go around. All right, which I will do. All right, and still you have that crazy light. The sun is rising on the hospital. You have a double victory here, which is victory uh, symbolizing the victories of Napoleon the first, with uh, kind of an Egyptian inspiration. Uh, there's a new piece coming in the Louvre right now, which is a piece, uh, which is a, a, a Roman and Egyptian piece uh, about a god the Romans invented. You can you can check that out in the my video on the Fayoum portrait. And uh, oh yeah, finally the sun came out of the clouds. They say it's going to be rainy today, but I don't see how that is happening. There's this big billboard that's usually. Boy, my friend Alex is coming. I will say. Really proud of it. We'll do a little uh, movie on him. I'm gonna stay on the bank right there. So you recognize maybe the city palace. There used to be a drawbridge between these two columns. One is called the Silver Tower because that's where they used to keep the silver. So the trader. And uh, oh, that's pretty much uh, how it is. So this green box that you're looking at right now is called the bookiness, right? People have been selling books here in Paris on the banks from really the middle age. So it's really a, a passion to read books. And uh, even if the socialist government shut down the libraries, people will always find a way to keep reading books. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Now you have a view on the whole bridge of Paris, the corner. Huh? That is really French to call the new bridge, the Holder Bridge from Paris, but it was new when it was built. <laughs> and it's a fantastic Medici uh, time. This is a Catherine of Medici we're talking. Right now you have a fantastic view on the last bit of the city island. And uh, all our right ones everywhere. The, the, the boats are everywhere. I'm so happy with that. I'm glad uh, that new mayor is turning Paris into a walking and uh, you know, what kind of a stuff, you know, whatever, whatever works, right? Whatever rides, right? No more cars in Paris, you know, and uh, maybe some electric taxis or even, I don't know, you know, carriages or why not horses for all I know. I mean, something like that. Right? That's why I really like it. Let me show you one more time. So we got this new kind of, uh, also the, the river is changing because they put stuff like uh, this new peniche right now. We've got the beautiful dome. More of uh, the institute. This is uh, there is a fantastic uh, library there where I used to study my license in literature and philosophy. Really loved it. Such a beautiful place where the ponies are, and the pond is absolutely uh, amazing as well. It's not a historical video at all. I don't have much to say. <laughs> Look at the beauty of the tree there. I'm just admiring, so I think. Uh, this video is getting long enough, so that's why I'm going to finish on that private mention that you see in the back right there, which is Hotel de la Monnaie, with quite a restaurant in there. I've seen some great exhibits, and uh, it's one of those places, you know, like living at heart and like fantastic places. It's amazing. I'm starting in like literally 10 minutes, so that's why I'm going to have to head up there. 
uh, video by showing you the rest of that sunrise and then I'm gonna run the Louvre. Don't forget, you're watching Laughing Museums and no matter what you do, if you're not doing it with a smile, well, you're doing it wrong. <laughs>